Hello, thank you for checking out my video today. Today's video is going to be more about adding a network card to my motherboard project. So I'm going to talk about the hardware here real quick, then we'll uh, look at the driver and then uh, do a demo. So the network card that I have I got here from uh, Sergey. Um, there's a GitHub page on this, I'll put that in the description, as well as a link to where you can uh, purchase one of these for yourself. So what I like about this card is it's available and it's new. And that's always been kind of a goal of mine with my project is to have parts of, that are available on the market. Uh, so my previous video on networking, I uh, use this card here and this is uh, from 1996 and I bought it off eBay. I mean, they, they are available, but this one is new. So on the back of this, it's got the, the configuration of the switches listed. They're also on in the GitHub page as well. So you can configure this using the switches or you can configure it with software. Uh, it's whichever you prefer. Uh, for my project, uh, if you're going to do the switches, what I found works. Switch one, uh, the switch block one here, and then switch one. Just turn that one on. And then in the second switch block, switch one, turn that one on. And what that does is the first switch tells it that we're going to be using the switches. And then the second set here says that we're going to be using IRQ3. The next switches is the IO address, and they all need to be off for uh, the IO address we're using, uh, 300. So, anyway, so we're going to plug that into my board. What we've got today is my main board here, and I'm going to be running a V20 processor, and I'm going to be using my 512K of RAM on that. So I'm going to pause, I'll get this all put together, and we'll talk about the driver. Alright, so I've got Sergey's GitHub page open here. And this is where you'll uh, download your driver from. So if you just read through the README here, it'll tell you some uh, good information on the card. And it's got a link here for a patch driver, and then this RSET8019 utility. And that utility is how you configure the card with software instead of using the jumpers. So over here we've got the driver. You just download this uh, NE2000.com. And if I understand right, so this has just been modified to work with the 8-bit card from the original source. And then we've got the utility here. You download that. So that's all you need to download for this to work. So we'll boot up the PC here and we'll uh, we'll go over the auto exec and then it connect into the network. All right, so we're all booted up here. Uh, this one already connected to the network. Um, let's just go and look at the uh, configuration here. Now, we'll uninstall the driver. I didn't edit my auto exec to do that. And then let's type uh, REST8019. So when you first get your card, you're gonna to wanna to run this uh, tool to configure your card without the switches. Now, if you, if you don't wanna if you want to use the switches, then you don't really need this tool. So let's just view the configuration. And you can see that I've got it configured. The only thing I changed was uh, the base address, which I, I can't remember. It was like 260, I think, originally. And the interrupt I changed to 3. And from 2. And you can see operating mode, it says jumperless at the top there. So uh, let's just exit this. That, that's uh, to let's see if you can you know, change it. You can uh, oh, and setup is where you change it, so you can change things here. So 
Anyway, uh, let's look at the auto exec. Spelled it wrong. All right, here we go. So, um, set the path. They, uh, I'm not using a mouse. I just got rid of that for a minute. And then this is this first line. That's for the other network card. And so here we are. The to run it, I just run the NE2000 and then 0x60 for the port. 0x3 for the interrupt and 0x300 for the IO address. Then uh, the next line, this has to do with the uh, setting up the DHCP, the network. And I got these tools from the MTCP website. Uh, definitely check that out. That's uh, You'll need those resources as well. And then uh, I run the DHCP when it boots up. So. Let's just uh, reboot. You can see it's all connected. It's requested an IP address. It's got one. There you go. So let's... Uh, Let's do some telnet. Um, let's just show this card is working. So on my local network, I've got a Raspberry Pi plugged in, and I install, installed the telnet server. Just log in like normal. There you go, we just tell that it to my Raspberry Pi. And then, uh, my last video I was trying to connect to some BBSs. Uh, most of them, you know, I didn't have a login for. So I actually just, uh, made my own on um, it's just local it's not public you just log in And we connect it to my uh, local BBS. So let's just go to those network tools I talked about. Just show you this before I finish the video. <laughs> So you go to the, it's the MTCP, just search that in Google, you'll find the guy's website, and you can download all these tools. Uh, so in here you've got HTTP server, you've got an FTP server, and uh, Telnet, you got a you know, bunch of really good tools that you're going to need for this uh, network. So anyway, uh, thanks for checking my video today.